This place here is the Quarter Circle V Bar Ranch in Arizona. It's uh, oh, about 75 miles north of Phoenix in the Hour of Frio River Valley, about 4,000 feet above sea level, off there to the west of the Bradshaw Mountains. East of here is the Verde Rim, and north is the Mingus Range. South lie the New River Mountains. Big country, clean, real. The Quarter Circle V Bar is a working ranch. Good size spread, too. 40,000 acres. Lots of room to live, breathe, and learn. Because it's more than just a ranch, it's a school. A special sort of school. Well, maybe, maybe I should say a very special sort of school. Where boys and girls are taught not just things, but the meanings of things. Where, along with getting an excellent academic education, they learn the truth about values which have stood the test of time and are led along carefully planned roads of knowledge toward a better understanding of the world and its peoples and their own duties and responsibilities to themselves and to society. I know quite a lot about this place. Our oldest boy graduated from here not too long ago. And what he brought out of here, what he learned here, is something really special. So I decided to come back here today to share with everybody the story of what this kind of school is and what it does. Because I believe it's important. in my generation, you probably worry a lot, like I do, about the world, how it's changing so fast, how a lot of the things we were taught to believe in don't seem to hold true anymore. Well, perhaps you feel, as I do, that our children need something more than just a, an academic education to prepare them for the future. They need to be taught to use the knowledge they get in school with wisdom, understanding, tolerance, and judgment to help them build a better world. In 1929, those two people there, they were parents, and they were concerned the same way. Mr. and Mrs. Charles Orme, Sr. And they had this big ranch, miles from any school, and they had children they wanted educated properly not just educated in preparation for college, but educated for living, good living, right living, in a mighty imperfect and changing world. So they fixed up this old bunkhouse as a school and hired a good teacher and laid out a curriculum and a code for living based on the fundamental truths they believed in. That's Charles Orm Jr., their son, and his wife, Mimi. Charlie was one of the first pupils, along with the children of ranch hand families and ranchers for miles around. And the fine education he got in this room and around the ranch set him on to graduate from Stanford University with honors. And today, Charlie is headmaster here at Orm and one of the nation's most respected authorities on independent schools. And that's what ARM is. It's an independent secondary school. It's quite unlike some other kinds of schools where we send our children to get an education that only prepares them for college, but too often doesn't prepare them to cope intelligently with a world they never made and may have to remake someday. Now, by definition, 
An independent school must offer something better and more worthwhile to young people if it's to justify its existence. It should educate, yes, but it should also offer a constructive, consistent, and compelling system of values around which personal and social living can be organized. Since its very beginning, ORM has been programmed to give its students that kind of focus on life. And I believe it has succeeded. Because it isn't just a school. It's a closely knit, well-organized community. A community in which everybody has an active role, is totally involved is charged with definite duties, responsibilities, obligations, without alibis, without excuses. Personal, perpetual involvement for the good of oneself and the whole community. That's the rule, and that's the key. You know what that means to a young boy or girl? Well, it means the warm realization that you're needed, wanted important to other people. You have identity. It means that you are trusted, expected to do your best at all times, to put duty and responsibility to others before yourself. So that's what you do, because it's right and because it's good. Even the academic part of life at ORM is built around the idea of personal responsibility and involvement. The classes are small, intimate. The teachers are not only tops, among the best in the country, but they know how to really communicate with the boys and girls, how to stimulate, bring out excellence, build a contempt for mediocrity. A teacher here is a friend an advisor, a coach, a guide, all in one. But it isn't just the high quality of the faculty that makes the academic side of Warm so special. It's the atmosphere of total student involvement that makes learning exciting and challenging. Plus, a unique blending of every subject in the curriculum into a well-rounded schedule which constantly emphasizes the relationship between different areas of study. Now what this does is avoid the so-called compartmentalization of learning. And instead, it shows the students how everything they learn in one class has a definite relationship to their total learning in all their other classes. And that sense of meaning and relationship then is directed so that it has real significance to life itself, to the business of everyday living in a complex civilization. ORM is different too in that the warm, close contact between students and teachers continues around the clock because the boys and girls spend a lot of time in the teachers' homes as guests and friends. And learning in this kind of warm, relaxed atmosphere, things like the need for simple honesty, truthfulness, and integrity in their daily lives. Orm students learn a real respect for the dignity and necessity for hard work, a never-ending effort, too. Because a carefully planned chore program is an important part of their daily lives. Everybody works. Everybody is given responsibilities and tasks to be done, done properly. Tasks and chores for the good of the whole community. Tasks and chores that test a student's capacity for community involvement. Tasks and chores that kids themselves grow to enjoy and take immense pride in doing well. And that's the reason this nuclear scientist is learning how to milk a cow and learning the importance of skill in any endeavor. And that's the reason 
this political economist is learning how to train a horse and learning the value of patience, an expert technique in any situation. And believe it or not, the deep sense of responsibility and the high regard for honest work the students get here even leads them to undertake major projects on their own, jobs they don't have to do, but they want to do, because they're learning that the best way to a full life is always to do just a little bit more than you have to. Even at the expense of some pain and, <laughs> and discomfort. But there's plenty of fun in all sorts of forms. Arizona couldn't be better for all kinds of outdoor sports. And even while they're playing, they're learning valuable lessons for the future. Self-discipline, for one. How to be part of a team. How to work with others. The joy of competition. And that the way you play the game is the thing, not just the winning. They learn that rules are made to obey, not break. That the cynical philosophy which says nice guys finish last, well, that's a lie. And most important of all, perhaps, they learn about the deep satisfaction that comes from doing your best in cooperation with other people. Total dedication, total involvement. It's out of this kind of atmosphere that leaders are born. Of course, the fact that the school is on a big ranch is a dream come true for a lot of the youngsters, especially at roundup time. It's work, no doubt about that. So this independent school builds their intellects and builds their bodies. But that's only half the job. Just as important are the more subtle influences this school has on the souls and the spirits of its boys and girls. For instance, there's a regularly scheduled program of outstanding guest speakers, lecturers, and musicians. And this exposes the youngsters to the best from the big world of art and science and culture that waits for them later on. They find inspiration here. They find focus, meaning, high example. For without focus, meaning, even the best educated person in the world would be a hollow being, perhaps even a dangerous being. But here, youth is shown the road, the way, and the goals that are good. And they get plenty of chances to try out their own wings along the artistic lines that interest them most. Now, there are some people who say that in this highly automated world, craftsmanship is old hat. But Orm teaches and proves the enormous satisfaction that comes from creating something with the skill and dexterity of your own two hands. Ah, this is good for the soul. This is the training that can strike sparks, light a fire, and help illuminate the entire world. They learn the principles of democracy, these ORM students, by actually governing themselves, putting into practice the high quality standards of personal involvement that guides all ORM activities.
learn the social graces, too, through a continuing program of well-chaperoned events. And because ORM is co-educational, the natural rough edges of adolescence are gradually buffed off. Eventually, the agony subsides. Now, don't get the idea that this school is a kind of a remote little world all its own, a sort of an academic island. No, it's quite the contrary. It's a definite part of the overall school program for the boys and girls to make frequent scholastic trips which tie in with the work they are doing in their own classes. As just one example of how this works, students make regular visits to the Phoenix Art Museum. Such expeditions help them appreciate more keenly the relationship between what they are learning in school and the applications they can make of that knowledge to the business of living a full and productive life as adults. And then, once a year, the school offers a special treat in the form of a caravan trip to distant places. It's a nice change of pace from the classroom studies. The caravan is usually an adventure into the past for the study of Southwestern America's oldest cultures, Indian, Spanish colonial, early settler. And it's a priceless chance to really take a good long look at the wonders of nature, the beauties of all life the mysteries of creation. Some 150 boys and girls usually go on these caravans and they have a really wonderful time. Ancient history comes alive on these trips. And God seems very close. Actually, God is close all the time with students of Orm. Religion and spiritual growth are vital to the good life these young people are seeking. Here they learn the eternal verities of honesty and concern for others, along with an abiding faith in a supreme being, convictions that will bring strength and purpose and meaning to their whole lives. All graduates of Orm School go on to college. Now, I think you'll agree that this is a tribute by college admission boards all over the country to the worth of an independent secondary school education. Independent schools like this one do offer something special and worthwhile. A sound education plus a system of values and a sharp focus of purpose which can't help but foster intellectual and moral integrity. And to me, it seems certain that 
out of this kind of constructive, consistent, and compelling community atmosphere, the groundwork can be laid for good citizenship and leadership and superior accomplishment. And let's face it, the world today certainly does need young people to whom the truth is more important than the trend, to whom ideals are more important than the current idols. Young men and women who know how to build on rock, and not on sand. Well, that's about it, I guess. I came back to Orm. I've said my piece. Thank you very much for listening. Oh, hi. Hi, Jerry.